Welcome back to the morning blend. Look at that rabbit. Bunnies are so cute in an Easter basket, but do they make a good family pet? That's the question. Well, with a little work and understanding, rabbits can be great to have around. So today, Bunny Basics. Mm -hmm. Jennifer Smea and Sharon Miller are with the Humane Animal Welfare Society of Waukesha, also known as Haws. Thanks. And this Sunday, they're celebrating Bunny Days. Right, guys? Yep. That's correct. Yes, we have this event every year. I think we're in our fifth year for Bunny Day now, fourth or fifth year. Um, it came about because there's not a lot of easy ways to get information about bunnies but there's a lot of misconceptions about them so we wanted to have just kind of a simple way to get people in to spend a couple hours teaching them the basics letting them do some hands-on learning a little bit more about basics talk to a vet get kind of all the information they need so they can make the right choice whether or not a bunny is good for them and mm -hmm. we have Isaac here today yes. he is so sweet and he is the most perfect little coat <laughs> he's got a head this color and a little area around his nose that's white and then he's got this perfect big white stripe here what kind of rabbit is he available for adoption? Yes, he is. Oh. <laughs> he's, oh. He's, um, he's a Dutch rabbit. And okay. that Dutch rabbits have this type of marking um, where they have the white up here. And usually they have a big white blaze on the nose. But he's not I a think perfect of Dutch. all the, um, the <laughs> animals in the world, <laughs> rabbits are the cutest. They are super cute. But there's a, yeah. as you said, there's a lot of stereotypes. And I think people, especially mm -hmm. this time of year, getting close to Easter, think about bunnies and rabbits right. and their family mm -hmm. a little more as a pet. Right. Are they the cuddly, you know, sweet little rabbits and <laughs> pets that we think that they are? Not necessarily. Um, because rabbits are prey animals, when they're held and, you know, like squeezed and cuddled like that, instinct tells them that this is not good because mm. prey animals are food for other animals so when they're picked up and held that's a really stressful thing for them so many of them are real uncomfortable by that they'll struggle they'll try to get away they might nip you mm -hmm. so they really aren't cuddly and they don't really curl up on your lap they can't physically do that because they don't have that type of um, structure but their rabbits are more comfortable like this Mm -hmm. If they can sit next to you or sit on your lap without <laughs> being forced to. Uh-huh. <laughs> what, what, what is the work involved in having a rabbit? Do they need exercise, for example? Oh, yes. They're very, uh, they, they need a lot of exercise. They're built to run and to jump, so they have to be able to do that. So if you're going to cage them, you have to have an appropriate cage, or really a large cage, so they have plenty of room to, to um run Hop, around to do babies <laughs> and things like that yeah exactly. and to exercise because they'll if they don't if they sit in a small cage and are confined and don't get out for exercise they can have um, physical issues mm -hmm. um, also behavior issues mm -hmm. so they need to get out and, and explore and they're very curious rabbits are very curious animals yeah. they're into everything they can get into a lot of trouble too so you really have to bunny proof <laughs> if you have a rabbit as well because you may be surprised at what they get mm -hmm. into so how about yeah. their diet and, and are they better as a singular pet or with a partner pet Actually, they're much better when they're in a pair. Okay. Um, rabbits are very social. These rabbits are descended from European rabbits, which live in warrens. They dig and they live underground in large groups, so they really do much better with another rabbit. Do they rabbit. multiply like rabbits <laughs> if you yes. have two, though? <laughs> well, yes. And yes, they do, and that's why you spay and neuter them. And there why you all of our rabbits are that. sprayed yep. and spayed and neutered, so okay. we don't multiply them. <laughs> yes. yes. We have enough. We don't need more. You're right. <laughs> Some stereotypes are not misconceptions. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Are there other misconceptions that are important for people to understand as part of the education process and thinking through having one of them as a, as a pet? One of the things that Sharon was talking about, the amount of exercise that bunnies need. Our volunteers are great in that they come every day and the rabbits do actually get out of their cages and are in little X-pens and they are running around. Um, you will see some folks that learn that litter train their rabbits so the rabbits can have a little bit more free reign in the home so they do get a little bit better exercise that way and you don't have this caged animal feeling stressed and, and getting that kind of an edginess which also can lead to a bite too because if your animal is not calm and is feeling stressed, that's when you're going to get those defense mechanisms. And rabbits will bite, too. And bunny yeah. bites hurt. Yes. yes yeah, they, they have do. good teeth. They have <laughs> very large teeth. <laughs> yeah. But you've yeah. got this annual bunny days coming up. And, mm -hmm. and who is it for? Is it for caregivers? Is it for people looking to get bunnies? Both. Both. We would invite anybody who is interested in learning more about rabbits to come on over and be there for the bunny day. It goes from noon to Hi, four. Isaac. So it's not a real long time commitment, but it's long enough that you can get plenty of information if you're thinking about it. Bring the kids along so they can understand they can have a chance to interact with some of our adoptables and get an idea of what rabbits really are like.
Where are you going? I said, yeah, what's <laughs> Taking a little shot over the couch. Yeah. And so if you have a bunny, though, don't bring it, correct? Correct, correct. It's best for them to stay at home because they're going to be more comfortable in their home environment. Um, we'll have plenty that if you really are feeling the need for bunny interaction, you can interact with the ones that we have available there. But, yeah, they're more comfortable. Keep them at home. Come and interact with ours. They could use the, the, the touching, the petting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> great. All right. Well, we had a bunny growing up for a little while, and I do think I, I think they make great pets as long as you're educated, as you said. Right. So bunny day out at Haws is going on. <laughs> It's me. this Sunday from noon to four. It's going to be Bunny Basics 101. There'll be an expert advice from a doctor. You can win prizes, meet the adoptable rabbits, including Isaac, if he's still available. Yep. You can shop the Bunny Boutique. It's just $5 for adults, and children under 12 are free with a parent. Mm -hmm. Here's how you can find more information about Haas. Haas Pets. Dot org is their website. They're on Northview Road in Waukesha, or the phone number on your screen to call for more information or for how to adopt Isaac as well. Exactly. Thanks, Super ladies. Cute. Thank you. Nice to have you here. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yeah, wascally wabbits. <laughs> <laughs>